Okay. Uh, Godzilla Minus One is f***ing excellent. It's a new Japan Godzilla movie, not 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 the the Western style. Oh no, and, Roland Emmerich. Uh, uh, so no, we're doing it. We're doing it the the old way. We're doing fatty boom batty legs and and thin thin head up the top. We're doing Christmas tree Godzilla proportions. Um, very very good. If I can, I as someone who has uh, only consumed some Godzilla media here and there, but like mm. you know like no massive connoisseur, I can say that. Um, this is one of the most compelling and like fucking just emotional um, rides with the human side of the story. Um, That's not what I thought you were gonna say. The the, the 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 it's a very human story, and Godzilla happens to be there. Oh, cool. Okay, so um, I, if, if I'm going to spoil the first like uh, three minutes of the movie. I, I so I before we continue, um, does this have anything to do with Shin Godzilla? No. Okay, that makes a lot of more sense to me. Anno is nowhere near this. It's not connected to that in because any way. Because when I saw Godzilla minus one, I thought that meant that this was a prequel to Shin Godzilla. That's what you would think because of the naming, but it turns out that's not the reason for the name. I'll tell you the reason for the name in a second. Okay. Um, the intro to the movie is. A plain okay first of all the setting is Japan 1945 oh 45 yeah okay the the movie starts with a plane landing at a base going in for repairs as the uh, Japanese war pilot gets out and they're like all right yeah something's wrong we'll go check it out and they're like huh we checked out your plane Seems like nothing's wrong with it. What's up with that? And the dude's like, uh, yeah. And they're like, so you're not going to go do your mission, huh? You're not going to go do the kamikaze thing you're supposed to do? And he's mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah. And everyone's like, oh, okay. And then what, a dude comes around and goes like, yeah, it's the end of the war. Go die honorably for nothing. I get it. Fair enough. But also, what the fuck? You know? Mm. And um, your main character right off the bat is just that, right? Embodied. Mm. Um, and then, yeah. And, and you kind of, you know, continue down uh, uh, this road of like a uh, kamikaze pilot who, who ran away from, from doing that. And I was like, oh, this is where we're going. And I'm like, immediately I'm like sitting up because I'm like... I didn't know anything. I didn't watch any trailers going and I just went in completely cold hearing that it was very good. And when you see that, I go, okay, okay, okay. I have a lot rolling through. Japan is very touchy about acknowledging and talking about its World War shit. And how much of that are we going to see here? How much are we going to actually acknowledge and peel open? What's going to be kept back safe? Like, it's a movie, but... What do you actually get? You know what I mean? Like, there's a whole lot here that I'm I'm curious to see what 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 they're gonna expose. And so, um, you know, going into it, and then um, you know that that character kind of following through his life, and then Godzilla's happening in the background. It fucking really goes into just. Um, I, I was I was yeah I was very concerned, especially um, uh, for the first half. I'd say about like depicting. Japan post-war in a way where it's like they're like things have things are more fucked they can ever, than they could ever be it's the it's a it's a beyond insane state and like are we going to like do any kind of attempt to like bury that over not acknowledge how insane the emperor and like the the imperial army was at the time and any of that shit and there's a thing here where it's like there is a hesitation to directly get into some of that because it's just not gonna happen but there's also a very willing amount of like man fuck the government though that is not mm -hmm. based that and and fuck the idea that like um this we're gonna show you how the, the system in place here kind of created a person who was being was hated and treated like shit for kind of just not wanting to die 
and he was given orders to die and everyone societally expected him to die and his duty was to go and die and it's kind of like looking at it in that lens right um i want to ask a question yeah. but i'm i'm worried i'll get an answer because there's 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 a there's a thing I'm, i was gonna yeah okay go ahead mm -hmm. is america in this movie no Okay, because I just thought of the worst ending to this movie conceivable. So I'm glad that we're not going with that. Okay, so America's not in this movie. Um, America is brought up in terms of, like, they, the, in the post-war situation, they are, like, uh, uh, they're basically, like, charting, and then there's literally a, like, a Douglas MacArthur, like, has words to say about the creature moment, <laughs> you know? Um but for the most part, they're like they're already in their tense, uh, um, um, they're in their tense beginnings of of Russian tension, and mm -hmm. things are kind of focused in that. So Japan is kind of on its own to some degree, and they've been demilitarized and they, they've been you know and so on. So they don't have the the capabilities to do a bunch of shit. But anyway, there's there's a lot of it where it's like um, essentially it's like how does the average or how does a citizen of this pure time period feel in a fucked blitzed uh, burnt down Tokyo in like like pulling up in the in the rubble and all that and like you know in a, in a and they and like the fact that they there's points where they legitimately call to the idea of like um yeah maybe we treated life a little too cheaply you know maybe logistics and such such killing off uh, like almost half of the forces and then of course the idea of the suicide bombers and the kamikazes and all mm -hmm. that shit was was insane and there's a very like there's a point that it kind of is like um how are we going to deal with this godzilla that's attacking us when we're here with it like stomping on the rubble essentially and it's like the citizens kind of like get together to do it their own because fuck the government we can't really mm -hmm. rely on them to help us in this regard um it and it, and and it's uh Again, it's it's pretty brutal, right? How it goes, mm -hmm. how these these events all play out. Um, what I wanted to see, and I, I'm like, I don't know if they're. I, I I'd be so so blown away if a movie would ever do this. That is like, you know, paid for by you know giant studios and such. But like, you're showing us the ramifications of the war and the devastating effect it had on the Japanese people from the, the, the government and from, of course, the bombs and from everything that mm. ravaged, uh, 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 you know, Tokyo. And then the fact that there was no ground invasion, but there was still the leveling of the, of, of the city. Mm -hmm. Are they going to show the effect that the, uh, the Japanese Imperial Army had on other countries, oh. on everywhere, on what oh. that looked like? And Absolutely spend, not. And we're not. And we're not. And so I'm like, if we're going to take a, a a saccharine tone here with, like, the, the, the victims internally, it would have been really nice to also pretend, not pretend that everything they did outside of those borders wasn't also horrendous and, no, and the, to acknowledge the, the, it in some way, shape, or form. The responsibility right. at making a feature film pointing to a country's bad deeds lies nearly exclusively in countries that aren't the country mentioned. I think the United States, is like to their credit, is like one of the only countries that regularly puts out fucking movies that goes, wow. We really fucked that up. Uh. Right, right, right. You've got, I mean, and you still, you still got the, like, the hoorah movies, but you've got the, oh my God, the trauma movies as well. Um, and those are, I, in talking about this, yeah, with, uh, with Punchbomb, actually, it's like, the, there's a clear, like, the system, um, um, fucked us over in, as individuals. And I think, like, yeah, in, in Japan, there's, there's going to be just an infinite more, a much stronger hesitance to get into that when you're criticizing, you know, uh, um, the, 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 the harmony, as it were. But, um, the fact that it's a Godzilla movie that's going to touch on any of this is like definitely it's like, oh, yeah, this is not at all the venue I thought I'd be hey, yeah, hearing um, about this in, right? I did like like despite the fact that it's like it's Godzilla is is you know originally like the reminder of World War II and the bombs and everything about the the the, the origin of of the character you know always harkens back to that so this is kind of going full circle in a way but I'm like 
in terms of how honest of a look we're going to take it this time, um, mm -hmm. I guess it's like I I had to, I looked at it and I was like, are we going to get real? And it's like we're going to get real, but we're also mm -hmm. only going to get real about the stuff that we can comfortably get real about. No. Well, uh, well, speaking uh, of getting real, does like like who's who's the antagonist in this movie? Like, is it Ghidorah or is it like Mothra or like Desatoya or like who's Godzilla fighting? <laughs> the, the, the antagonist is is Godzilla and Godzilla himself is the problem. Are you uh, telling me we are two Godzilla movies back to back in which Godzilla is the villain and, and he doesn't punch a big dragon? That's correct. And like, I don't get it. And the, the post-war survivors. <laughs> are essentially the you know the civilians are the heroes trying to figure it out and like um the i mean re more like more than imagine stomping on like you know stomping on mothra or like stomping on Ghidorah and all that imagine yeah. if instead of that godzilla is stomping on what little to zero pride is left of the nation in is godzilla this time. stomping on the indomitable human spirit the embers of the flame that are in the rubble. Godzilla is stomping on an already destroyed Tokyo where there's nothing left, right? And so the whole point and the reason why the movie is called God, is called Minus One is because it, at, it, at the end of the war, Japan was at its lowest point. It was at zero. And Godzilla then showed up and brought them to Minus One. They, like, just when you couldn't get any lower oh. than zero, it's... Like it's in insanely devastating for them to have to deal with this now at this point is the deal, and that's that's kind of the perspective. They wanted to be dramatic. They should have called it Godzilla minus two. No, um, that'll be the sequel when there's two Godzillas. So there are these moments where characters that are part of the the protagonist team are also the same people that say and echo these fucked up war sentiments at the time. The idea of like doing your duty and going off to die is the right thing is yeah. wild for someone on the ostensible protagonist side to, to say you know um yeah well protagonism is a matter of perspective it is but also there's the energy and the the the, 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 the vibes at the time right the rah rah the fucking you know um um the 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 the, the, yeah. the all of that is like hey Bushinti, what were the vibes like during the second world war yeah <laughs> Uh, uh that you know the the level the level of like it like you know i mean fucking brainwashing it it, it got to at a point where people were um it was it was really insane and so they kind of have these moments of um like okay that's there and then we're gonna try to find something human inside of you that is also admirable and then by the way like we can again like it, we we don't have to it doesn't have to always be a fight to the death we don't it's not about yeah. dying dying uh, for your honor it's not about dying to well, save face like, necessarily um, so i'm just thinking about this and i'm like part of the part of the early story or the 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 the, the character's like internal struggle is about not being a kamikaze pilot right mm -hmm. was part of the was part of that narrative being like we understand that you don't want to be a kamikaze pilot, so take all of these methamphetamines so that you get super high and fly your plane. Uh, because that's one of those little well, tiny I don't historical wanna... details that has been kind of left by the wayside is that kamikaze pilots were, in general, high as fuck and yeah. did not know what they were doing. I'm not going to spoil much more of the movie, but uh, uh, no, <laughs> that was not a part of it. Um. It's, uh, but it's just, it's just, it is definitely like a series of gut punches through the lens of someone who is like, uh, uh, yeah, just, you know, trying to be, trying to be, uh, uh, uh trying to not die. And then like around him is a society, culture, government system and everything that it's like, actually you, you fucking should though. Dying is sick and you're a loser if you don't want to. Um, and that's like, okay, whoa, all right. And also there's Godzilla. <laughs> Damn it. Also, Godzilla is here. Yeah. So um, it's very, it's a very interesting watch and um, go into it. I think like, you know, knowing that 
and, and then I think as well. But like, and like while you're also like, oh wow, Godzilla's going here, huh? But there's a there's a cap on how real we can get, and um, and 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 that cap is exactly at the border of Nan King. <laughs> you know, like that cap is is uh, that 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 collection of ears. Is there is uh, there coll- is right there a part there. of the movie in which the uh, discussion is made by people uh, in the government? if they can figure out a way to divert Godzilla's path to China or Korea. I mean, if we could just get him to walk through Korea, actually. Oh, my goodness. Oh, two birds, one stone. Am I right? Yeah. Um, no, they, 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 that's it. They, they kind of do that. And, and, and it is a, it is a, uh, um, it is a, what the fuck was wrong with us? Look at the time but through the lens of like uh, almost persona like okay don't criticize too hard but the internal trauma here is real and it's fucked and 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 the idea is that i feel like a western movie would like show you more of the institution destroying the soldier um whereas here it's all happening inside you know um but it's very good it's very good and so i'll i'll, I'll definitely recommend it um, I feel uh, like there's other an American th- movie would have King Kong show up and beat up the Godzilla and then have the atom bombs be cover for the destruction that Godzilla caused and then they would drape the American flag on King Kong and then he would stand on an aircraft carrier and beat his chest I mean it, it, the most important thing is how quickly people get over the concept of Godzilla standing there and how quickly it's about the other threat that he needs to save them from now you know <laughs> um it's it's kind of hilarious though that we're getting we're getting this and then like an immediate like other western godzilla movie to compare it to you know um there's this is a, i don't know if we can beat this one kong oh no we got this godzilla and then they do a little fist bump and pick up sticks <laughs> with their backs towards the camera doing the pose it's, like getting ready to so do, funny doing the, it's yeah so funny doing doing the the goku and vegeta Oh yeah. Well, um. Anyways, I I, I definitely want to recommend it, and uh, yeah, and and it, and it has and it, it has uh, more to say that is um uh, closer in vain to the times I've I've talked about the Dan Carlin podcast, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Supernova in the East, and post war Japan, and and like like the idea of uh, what what led up to what 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 would have happened in the event of a ground invasion, and and uh, the, the 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 madness of that. So. Um, check it out and uh, also Godzilla's there <laughs> uh, would this be like it would be like the movie would actually be called like the shame of the heart featuring Godzilla uh, that, a guest starring that uh, I'm, 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 that's over my head <sighs> I just like the idea of Godzilla being in like a sitcom tagline as featuring I don't know how many other Godzilla movies have like the human side of things be like legitimately interesting. Um, I, I assume it's like a Transformers bit where you're like, "Where are the Transformers? Enough of the humans. Where are the Transformers, please?" But the Transformers are. But uh, this is one of the cases where I can say this is probably the best I've seen of the mm-hmm. of the human story. You know, uh, at least one. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I would say at least one, at, probably. At, I think you saw it. I think it was God, Shin Godzilla. Yeah, and that was that was a bunch of office people, you know, and 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 Anno music playing. All uh, right. Um, uh, something that I w- came to mind actually. I just want to say one more bit on Godzilla minus one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just I think to elaborate. Um, well, I was <laughs> I was thinking about how. You know how there's a, we've talked about how there's a, a, a almost a history with mental health in Japan being such that uh, before you look outward, uh, turn within, and that's where and, and and by doing so, that's where the answer sh- will lie, and that's how you can solve what's going on. Um, mm-hmm. It almost feels as if like that philosophy taken to a large scale when you zoom out is kind of what's happening here by being like we're going to focus on what's happening within. Uh, uh, in this moment of crisis for the for the nation of sorts, 
And um, with that, I, I am also when I was talking about the idea of like how what are we going to touch on or acknowledge or mention anything of like how they affected outside countries and such. I'm not necessarily saying that because I expect that the movie is going to travel to other borders and show you what was happening in these places and and, and getting into the the atrocities and those details per se, especially if the narrative of the story is meant to focus internally on this one person in this one setting and and the struggles they're in um it's more along the lines of like the like how much of a depiction of self-criticism are we going to acknowledge here and uh while they do talk about like and criticize the imperial government uh, a good bit something i was i remember thinking was while i was watching is a number of the people that the the you know the citizens that we see like are, are we actually going to see anyone that is representative or emblematic of the imperial ass world conquering insane people that were around at that time you mm -hmm. know that were like not nah, to the death we got to go kill it all because we are the superior ones that that should rule the world like are mm -hmm. we going to touch on or are you going to see any of that in inside of like the um the population of people you meet in the movie and you don't necessarily you know um so like those people are kind of or that that part of the government is kind of referred to but there are people who are ex-military and who are just regular citizens and such all kind of coming together and they represent more like the good people from within this you know diseased sort of uh, uh, system of sorts but that's that's part of what i was kind of wondering about as well so just to just to, to not put out there that my expectations are godzilla is gonna you know get into shit that it has nothing to to initially uh, it, it's like, it, not that it's going to go into things that it, ne it never sets out to cover, but more like within what it's decided to cover, which is this topic of Japan and post-war. Are we going to look at the people that are here of these citizens and the people that are fucked up amongst this group of people while there are the victims and the people that were just like pushed along with it to die for no reason? You know, um, I hope that clarifies. No. Yeah, I, I, I feel I, I hope that clarifies because, I, you know, it. I can see anyway, anyway, like a, a that being a misunderstanding. So, 